if this is the best washing machine we can make in 2018, it's embarrassing. I guess this is what we're working with, folks. This is my second washing machine from Lowe's, this model. Give it a few days and see how it holds up. Kim Jessel here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. This video is going to tell you about my second General Electric washing machine of this model. I'm not really satisfied with this one. It has some of the same issues that the one before did. It's slightly better, but let me show you what, what happened with the second model. Let's try this one and see if it works better than the first one. I'll put it on large because I don't have quite a full load of towels. I'm going to put it on light, heavy and wash it in hot. I'm going to use one of my OxyClean cards. Like there's a lot of play in that tub. We'll see. Seems like it's pressing up better than the other one did, so I'm still gonna stir with my magic spoon. It's about a half a load, really. Well, it's quieter and the lights seem to be more perfectly lit up. They were just like Vegas lights on the other one. You know, if my job was to design washing machines and dryers these days, I'd be too embarrassed to tell anybody. This is the best we can do. Really? This is the best we can do? That's embarrassing. At least on this one, when the machine is finished, the lights are off. And it did sling them dry. I guess this is what we're working with, folks. This is the sound on the spin cycle. To me, the spin cycle noise is less annoying than the wash cycle. I really don't know what to do. Should I call GE? Should I call Lowe's to take this back? Should I? I really don't know. But Last night, I read reviews on Best Buy about this washing machine. I read some of the negative replies and saw that a customer service representative from GE was contacting those people who had negative things to say and offering help. Should I contact GE about this second defective washing machine? Should I order another one, have Lowe's come pick this one up? Will I be any happier with a different model or a different brand? Let me know. Here's the second load in the new washing machine. Just washing some sheets. The light indicators seem to be working properly on this one. In my opinion, that's still too noisy for a washing machine to make. That's how loud it is all the way to the end of the hall. The 
doors closed, but still, that's a noisy appliance. I got busy and forgot to put my clothes in, and my old washing machine, it didn't start. The cycle went to be closed lid. On this one, that's not the case. So now, this thing is stuck somewhere. I can't seem to cut it off or do anything, which was the problem before. It's like, if I'm holding this three seconds to stop it, nothing happens. So, so where are we? What are we doing now? The other one, I unplugged it to see if that would help, and it didn't. So now it's just stuck. Like, doing what? I really don't like this washing machine. I really don't. So let's unplug it. Let's see if that will restart it. Nope, it's still doing. Who knows what? I really have no recommendation to buy this washing machine, zero. I think I'm just stuck with it, but no, I wouldn't recommend anyone buy a general electric washing machine like this. So now the lights come back on for this. It's inefficient, it's confusing, it's noisy, it's loud. There's nothing to recommend this washing machine, nothing. I have unplugged it, I've opened the lid two or three times, and it's absolutely doing nothing. Nothing. Finally the lights went off, I saw my clothes in there, and now it, it won't cut on. So, hold three seconds to stop, and now it won't cut on at all. Let's open the lid and see if that will let it know that, hey, you know what, you need to wash some clothes. What are we doing here? This is a terrible, terrible, terrible washing machine. It's inconvenient. If I had to stand in here and like have this much attention to get a load of clothes washed, it is not convenient at all. I don't recommend anyone buy this washing machine. Now I'm trying to wash another load of clothes. I'm gonna change the cycle. Already put the detergent in there. Change it to this. Let's start. No lights are on. So what are we doing here? What are the charging? I guess I better go ahead and end my clothes because it's gonna wash these in the next two minutes, huh? Can't even see the detergent in there. Not find me up nothing. Where did it go? Where did it go? Do I add more to so eat the detergent? What? I hate this washing machine. Now I can see the curtain in there, even though I've already added it. Let's see how it does on the bulky cycle. I also put in a pack of the unstoppables that came with it because I'm washing a bedspread that we keep over the recliner. Put it on super. Bulky and warm. This seems to have worked well. They didn't get off balance at any time during the cycle, and they smell great.
That is ridiculous. Thanks for watching this video about this review of this General Electric washing machine. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you have time before you leave, watch another one of these videos. And let's help each other be better consumers. Because money's tight.